Hey guys, Lewis here, and in today's video, I want to do a review of the IBM Backend Development Certificate. And so IBM actually has a lot of programs on Coursera, you know, data science, uh, data analyst, a bunch of stuff. But we're going to talk specifically about the uh, Backend Development Certificate, which is right here. It's pretty popular. Uh, IBM Backend Development Professional Certificate and essentially the questions I'm going to to cover are uh, how long does it take because it says you know 12 months at you know 10 hours a week is that really true uh, how good is it compared to you know other programs that I have reviewed uh, what are your chances of actually getting a job and uh, you know the potential salary that you may get uh, at this job and how much is it going to cost for the whole you know program experience so I just want to cover the um, very quickly the cost first so the IBM backend development professional certificate is actually part of uh, Coursera plus so I'm gonna look for it here Coursera plus there you go so this is the pricing page so it's a subscription plan it's $59 a month or you know almost $400 a year there's a seven day uh, free trial uh, so this is going to get you access to the IBM you know backend developer uh, development certificate the whole program I'm going to to include a link in the description box of this video to the best price that I can find for Coursera plus if there are any discounts or coupon codes uh, stuff like that I'm, I'm going to include it in the description uh, just want to be to totally transparent with you I am an affiliate for Coursera so if you do end up purchasing you know the program then I do end up uh, getting a commission so with that being said I'm now let me talk about the duration of the program so um, the program says you know 12 months at 10 hours uh, with a 10 hour per week investment um, you know generally speaking on Coursera in my experience the the courses actually last for less time than that so you can count less than that so for most people it's going to be you know at 10 hours a week anywhere in between you know 6 to 12 months uh, I've already reviewed other programs on Coursera like the the meta you know front-end and back-end um, development programs and that's pretty much the same thing it doesn't take as much time as it says here um, so now how good how good is the program uh, you can actually take a look at the syllabus here and uh, you know looking at this from my perspective I've been a full stack developer using Python and JavaScript since you know 2017 a lot of the information that you're going to learn here is going to be super useful for uh, your job as a back-end developer and it's a very very comprehensive and um, the, the thing that really jumps out here is that this certificate is going to teach you stuff that other backend development programs are not necessarily going to teach you. So, for example, it's, it goes into, you know, DevOps quite a bit. Um, if you take a look here, for example, you know, introduction to containers, Docker, Kubernetes and OpenShift. This is stuff that, you know, as a backend developer, um, uh, as like uh, in a backend development sort of course, you're you may not actually learn, but you're going to to uh, learn about that in this certificate. Is this going to be useful for your future job? In seventy five percent of the the jobs uh, posted on the internet, yes, it's absolutely going to be useful. Now, it's going to be hard, I feel like, for um, you know a beginner to actually learn about all of those technologies. So the scope is pretty broad. It's pretty comprehensive and pretty broad uh, but you know nevertheless it's um, I feel like a lot of courses online are not going to go in this uh, in as much depth and as much you know uh, breadth uh, I mean it's not going to be as uh, broad as this program uh, so the syllabus has multiple sections I'm going to quickly read from it there's introduction to software engineering uh, so it's like to teach you just general coding, hands-on to um, hands-on introduction to Linux commands and shell scripting, getting started with Git and GitHub, Python for data science, AI and development, developing AI applications with Python and Flask, Django application development with SQL and databases, introduction to containers with Docker, Kubernetes and OpenShift, application development using microservices and serverless, application security for developers and DevOps professionals monitoring and observ 
observability for development and DevOps, backend application development capstone uh, project. So all of these courses are actually taught by people at IBM. Uh, so th the program is actually going to teach you backend development using the Django uh, framework and the Flask framework, uh, framework here. Uh, so just you know, so you know, Django is actually the most popular framework for you know Python web development. So it's definitely a good thing that it is included in the, in the program. And for Flask, it is the second most popular you know web development framework. It's a little bit different from Python in that it's more oriented towards uh, you know making APIs. And it's fine if you don't know what that is. But the point is, those two frameworks are the most popular options for Python developers um, to this day. Uh, they're also going to teach you, as I said, you know, DevOps knowledge like you know Docker, uh, Kubernetes, and uh, you know CI/CD uh, security. It's not really DevOps, but you know, um, a lot of skills are sort of uh, not directly, not necessarily going to be in every single backend developer uh, job posting, but it's definitely uh, in like 75% of them. Um, it's not really clear as far as like why the reason why IBM created those programs you know they have a bunch of programs on Coursera they never really said anywhere to my knowledge why they created those programs you know IBM is like the technology company uh, they make uh, you know a bunch of technology related stuff but why is it that they actually teach uh, you know development on Coursera my guess is that it's the same reason um, same reason that pushed, you know, Meta. There's also, you know, the Meta programs that I reviewed, the Meta front-end developer program, for example. You know, Meta is pretty open about the fact that, you know, they're making those uh, online learning programs on Coursera available because they don't have enough developers to hire. So same thing for from uh, for IBM. They don't have enough developers to hire. Uh, college is not preparing. Uh, students well enough for programming jobs uh, and you know that aligns well with my own co college experience I have a master's degree in computer science but in terms of like specific and applicable knowledge that you're you know when you become a Python developer uh, you become a back-end developer it's not going to be enough in most uh, cases so those th this program here makes up for that um, you know when you compare um, this program to other options like uh, for example you know in-person boot camps in-person boot camps um, it's going to be you know six to eighteen months so it's going to be probably longer uh, it's going to cost you at least you know 10k it's pretty expensive and very often you have like an ISA which is an income share agreement which means that uh, maybe you're not going to pay a lot of money for the boot camp, but once you get a job, you're actually going to have to pay some percentage of your income, which at the end of the day is going to add up to you know a lot of money. Uh, with this, all you're paying is you know $59 a month, and as I said, it's going to be you know uh, six to 12 months. So in total, you're looking at a maximum of $708, I think is what I calculated for 12 months, right? And, or you can just pay yearly and do, you know, it's going to be $399, I believe. That's the max sort of amount of money that you're going to pay for this uh, program. Not necessarily that it is the same thing as a, an in-person boot camp. There, there are major advantages to going to an in-person boot camp, but it's definitely a viable alternative. Uh, now, let me talk about... Um, also, in terms of like job opportunities, uh, you know, IBM made this program and the people, the instructors and all that, they work at IBM. Um, and it's it's very likely that the people who are who made the course are actually helping with the hiring of developers. So all the knowledge that you're going to learn here is pretty relevant knowledge uh, in terms of like passing, you know, job interviews and actually like on the job uh, skills. And in general, you know, people are pretty satisfied. There are 375 reviews, 4.7 stars. It's a pretty good program in general. Now, let me talk about your chances of getting a job and uh, the um, potential salary that you may get as a backend developer. So here, I'm going to open the Bureau of uh, Labor um, of Labor Statistics, 
and you can see that the fastest growing occupations you have a bunch of them but uh, in the top occupations you have here software developers so that's you know if you take the certificate that's what you're going to be a software developer uh, pretty high growth but also a pretty high median pay 127k uh, uh, per year you have some jobs that have you know higher uh, a higher growth rate but you know the median pay is not is not going to be the same and just to be clear as a software developer if you get the certificate don't expect to be paid 107 uh, 127k per year that's unrealistic right it's um you're going to start you know much lower than that but the earning potential is definitely going to be pretty high as you gain experience and you're going to uh you know get higher and higher salary pretty quickly uh we can also take a look at the statistics here on indeed.com and they have a lot of you know job postings that they have so they have pretty good statistics on what you can get paid for a front-end developer it's 112k so for you know back-end developers uh, let me see if we can find that actually back-end uh, developer in the United States it's going to be okay search 156k okay so that's that's actually a lot more than a front-end developer Mm, I, I don't know if this is really true. I don't know what to make of this. In general, I would say backend developers are paid a little bit more than you know frontend developers, but I don't think the gap is that uh, you know is that huge. But yeah, backend development is going to make uh, more money than uh, frontend development in general. My experience is that you know um, if you get uh, the certificate from IBM, the backend development certificate. It may be, uh, you know, not as impressive as a master's degree in computer science, let's say. But my experience is that companies that I've worked for, they've always had issues with uh, finding developers. And so, uh, you know, if you have the certificate and in the certificate, you're actually going to have to complete, you know, projects that you're going to be able to show to prospective employers. Uh, companies are going to look at that and you know they're look, going to look around and see that there are no other alternatives so they are going to give you a shot that's that's my experience and you know uh, uh, you're pretty much you're you are going to get an entry-level job as a back-end developer if you get the, the certificate and you really have the skills that you learned in the certificate um, and in my opinion, the projects that you're going to do in the certificate are the most valuable part of the program because you can actually show that to your future employer and you actually gain the skills that you will uh, use on the job. All right, so that that's basically it for uh, this video. Uh, so the IBM, uh, you know, backend development certificate is a pretty comprehensive backend program. Uh, it, it is a big time investment, you know, six to 12 months. Um, I'm going to include once again a link in the description box of this video uh, to you know the best price possible that I could uh, that I can find on Coursera Plus, and um, if you want to take a look at my other reviews, I'm going to include a link on this video to the uh, Educative.io, which is uh, another uh, site. It's uh, even less expensive to uh, you know learn on this website. It's also a pretty good option. So, all right, I'll see you in the next one.